So they invoke in visionary experiences as well. Now, what follows judging? Karma. This is a spiritual law of karma. The, the crystal people are the ones that are the messengers and the guardians of the teachings of this one called karma. So this is a crystal right here, beautiful one, right? So through these, these crystals are reminders for those of you that have worked in the time of Atlantis, those of you that uh, have abused the power of the crystal through working and abusing the ways of the mind. So a lot of our relatives today, they work with these because they remembered and they're redoing and undoing the karmic patterns that they had during that time. So they're doing good, doing, using the crystals now for a lot of healing, a lot of journeying. So thank you for, for uh, bringing those messages of, uh, because your karma could take down a whole nation, see, the whole world, the whole universe, <coughs> if we're not careful. The whole planet, the whole star system. Are you trying to sneak in here? <laughs> it's all right, you could walk in. Nobody could see you. It's all right, come on, sit down. We're not watching you. <laughs> So the crystal, um, the crystal people are the messengers for the stone nations during this time. So everything we think, do, and say creates karma. So, and based on the energy that you put out is the energy that's going to come back. Whether it's twofold, fourfold, seven, tenfold, or hundredfold, whatever type of energy that's going to go out, you're going to get back. So put out some good energy. So you can make some beautiful karma for yourself. All right. This is the universal law of nature, and these ones of the 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 dear people, and also those this nation from the stars. This one called uh, Medicine Chief, and also Mal This is uh, through the order of Melchizedek. Any orders here, Melchizedek? Yeah. This is one of the symbols for Melchizedek, from the seventh dimensional, from this level up. This is their symbol. So the, the, they talk about the power to be through this symbol, the law of nature. And the power to be is, is uh, don't give away your power. The, the, your power is right here. In other words, don't give away your heart to any man or woman or any other being. You give it away to somebody that don't know how to take care of their own, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be lonesome, <coughs> you're going to cry, you're going to be hurt. This here belongs to you. You can share your heart, don't give it away, because sometimes it takes lifetimes to retrieve it. Okay, you're always looking for this man or this woman and going, you know, going from person to person, searching for your heart. Okay, hang on to your power. This is the spiritual protection of all, guarded by the elk people. And the elk people help you to be very direct and to the point. When you communicate, you should not talk in circles don't beat around the bush. Whatever needs to be said, just say it. They'll put people in shock, but don't worry about it. They'll get over it. <laughs> don't waste their time. Don't waste your time. So there's four keys to help you to be direct and to the point. Number one is always see purity in everything, in everybody. We all have a purity. We're born with purity, right? We still have it. We still have it. Find it. And when you find it in that person, then you're going to find it in yourself. Now, I'll also walk and always walk in gentle strength. And always speak from your heart. 
especially in heart matters. And know that you are a servant and a guardian to this Mother Earth and to everything and everybody that's here. Take care of each other. We are all we have at this time. Protect each other. Be nice. I remember that word nice now. Uh, this big, this older priest, I was talking to him. He said, you know what? He said, I come to your reservation a long time ago. He said, before the war broke out, the, they told us to come back to the States. Uh, so they told us to choose where we wanted to go. So he chose, I, so I chose the Yankton Sioux Reservation. So I went there. And he said, I was young. I went in there. And I was preaching, I was screaming, hollering, fire and brimstone. And he said, these men were sitting around. And they never looked at me. They sat on the floor and they had their heads down. They never made eye contact, these old men. When they got done, they'd come up, shake my hand, they'd, they'd go out. And I always thought they weren't listening to me. So I'd get up next sermon, next Sunday, where they'd come in, and I would start <coughs> preaching and looking down on them, and they wouldn't say nothing. They'd just sit there. He says, finally, one day, one of the older men come up, and he grabbed his hand. He said, God is nice. <laughs> then he walked out. He said, that blew me away. He said, I went back to the Bible. <laughs> the word nice isn't in there. <laughs> so, anyway, be nice to each other. For more information on the next Star Knowledge Conference, call Alan at 818-661-7437. Or go to StarKnowledgeConference.com. Oh,